Hey everybody, welcome to STEM Works in the Berks. This video series is meant to show you all of the career opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and math right here in our beautiful backyard of Berkshire County. and welcome to another edition of STEM Works in the Berks. Today we are here at Interprint in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and I'm joined with Peter, who is the Director of Communications, and we're going to talk a little bit about what happens here at Interprint. So hey, Peter, welcome to the show. Thanks, Erica. Thanks for having us. Oh, sure. Uh, Interprint is a decorative printer for the laminate industry, which means that we design and then print uh, the decor, which ends up on laminate surfaces such as flooring, uh, kitchen countertops, even furniture. Um, so we do a lot of printing here, about 7,000 tons per year, and uh, you'd be surprised wherever you look, there's probably a laminate surface, and chances are uh, Interprint was involved somehow in the, the printing of the decor. Awesome. And so a lot of our viewers are STEM students studying science, technology, engineering, math. Talk to us a little bit about what roles or careers exist for people who have that background. Well, when people hear manufacturing, they, they might think of their grandfather's, you know, dirty, dark, uh, dusty uh, factory. Interprint is anything but that. Um, in fact, we use a lot of um, engineering and telemetry to uh, base on how productive our print runs are. Um, math is used um, by a, a large majority of our analysts to, to make sure that um, the the print is being printed uh, optimally uh, with as little waste as possible. Um, so it's it's not so much just ink on paper, it's really trying to um, determine what the most efficient way of printing is and efficiency is, is definitely buoyed by uh, this, a lot of the STEM uh, skill sets. Cool, and we're gonna go take a look at the actual plant here in a bit and, uh, and see some of the stuff in action. Yep. So, welcome to Interprint. Here's the factory. Uh, we've got five rotogravure printing machines. Um, each of them can print up to uh, 150 to 300 meters per minute. Wow. And, uh, Let's stand against the rail so we can see this thing. Sure, absolutely. So, one of these hunks of metal here, this big machine, is a rotogravure printing machine. The paper actually goes through it like a ribbon. Um, starts off in the back as unprinted paper and every time the paper goes down it gets uh, printed with a coat of ink and every time the paper goes up it uh, that ink layer dries. So you can see the guys and gals in uh, yellow vests they are brand new employees um, they wear those so everybody knows to keep a little bit extra eye on them for safety reasons oh, awesome. um, because they don't always know everything about everything when they first start working here. Um, so we've got about 60 to 65 folks that work out here in the factory. Um, at any one time, there could be two or three on a machine. The machines are, uh, they, they may look um, like big hunks of metal, but they're actually pretty technologically advanced. You can actually run it with one person, but it's not, it's not just, uh, it's, it's not just uh, safe to do it that way, so we have at least two people. So just always innovating, always trying to stay out in front of the trends in the industry. Exactly, exactly, yes. Um, so yeah, let's talk about this change in manufacturing. I mean, obviously what materials are being printed on is a change, but even how the processes are done. Yeah, exactly. Um, you and know, what it means for our students. I mean, you know, knowing that our students are coming out into a manufacturing environment that may be very different than what their parents did. Exactly. You know, back in the old days, we would... A lot of times the registration of one color on top of the next is really important. And in the old days, maybe they would uh, get the registration and work the machine by hand, maybe even a mallet or something. A lot of our processes now are all computer driven. And there's electronic eyes which automatically adjust things. So it's really, as an employee, we want to have people who have a, an aptitude for technology. Um, and certainly the understanding of math is important as well. Um, the folks that we employ here, uh, 
it's pretty quickly evident whether they're able to process information and make good decisions based on that information. Um, and, and certainly those people that we try to, to meet when we're doing interviews, uh, those are some of the attributes that we're looking for. Obviously, you know, courteous and all the soft skills too, but, but a real appetite for uh, technology and understanding of math and, and a realization that you're going to, it's sort of on the job training here. You know, no one comes in here understanding what we do. The quicker that you're able to pick it up uh, and move forward, the quicker you get promoted. And someday soon, you can be printing on one of these machines and running them yourself, nice. and then moving on to other areas of the company after that. The name of the game here, really, for Interprint is making sure that we use our employees' uh, core skills, which is recognizing color and understanding that even a subtle change in color is an inconsistency that the customers are trying to avoid. So. We take our investments and we repurpose them. We take our employees' core uh, core capabilities, such as color matching. Then we can really uh, take a look at a wide variety of new products, and so any and all of the types of decorative overlays that are available and new ones are ones that we can take a look at investing in for the future. So let's see that color lab. I know you have a pretty cool color lab. Exactly. Should we walk down there? Absolutely, it's down this way. Yeah, I mean it's not so much about just printing the paper, putting ink on paper, it's making sure that that paper uh, will ultimately perform well for our customers in their processes. And a lot of that involves making sure that uh, it'll laminate correctly without bubbling up and, and, and making sure the color is right, certainly, as well. And there's a lot of chemistry that actually goes into the printing process as well. So pH levels can affect um, how well the inks stays with the paper, and viscosity levels can affect how uh, easily or more difficult the, the, the ink will actually release onto the paper. Yep. So um, it's it's a you know when you think of putting ink on paper, it's a fairly simple thought, but the devil is really in the details in terms of doing it consistently, uh, doing it the most efficient way as possible, and the foundations of both of those competitive advantages that we feel we have is in our people and their STEM skills. Nice. Yeah. And I also would love to know, um, talk to me a bit about what skills are needed, like what makes somebody successful? What have you found over time? If, if, if people watching this are interested in what's happening here, you know, we've just seen your awesome facility, you've seen what opportunities here, there's clearly a lot of opportunities here. Sure. What, uh, what makes somebody successful? Um, as, as the company founder uh, said, Interprint is not a spectator sport, so we really encourage participation. Um, it's not a place to go where you just come in and punch a clock and get through your day and then punch out. It's really a uh, career, and regardless of what part of the company you work in, um, participation is encouraged and performance is, is graded based upon how involved you are as an employee. Um, we encourage all employees to to certainly excel in their individual areas, but also branch out into other areas as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if you're a person who gets bored easily, this is a good place because you can see a lot of things and do a lot of things. A lot of us wear many hats. Awesome. Definitely. Awesome. Yeah. And as far as like, um, you know, are there soft skills? Are there are there things you found of over time related to, you know, communication and showing up and reliability? Like what sorts of things are you finding in those areas? Yeah, actually, you know, to work at Interprint, it's, um, we, we don't expect people to have a background in decorative printing, but we do expect for them is to simply, you know, listen when they're spoken to, um, uh, try to understand during the training period, try to understand what it is that they're being taught and ask good questions. And certainly showing up on time, uh, not looking at your phone when, when you know, you're supposed to be doing something else. Um, those are the sort of soft skills that, that uh, we prefer, and I think pretty much any other company that you'd be looking at would prefer as well. Totally. So people watching now, we're totally sold on this because what a great company. And here in the Berkshires, people want to stay in the Berkshires. Would we really, could people really find a job here whenever they come out? Yeah, actually, we're, we always seem to have one or two positions open. Uh, sometimes they're in the factory, sometimes they're in the office. More frequently in the factory, but we actually have more folks that work in the office. Um, and it's really, um, you know, depending upon your field of study, we may have an opening right away or there might be a little bit of a wait. It's serendipitous in nature sometimes. We have, um, you know, right now a need for factory employees. Um, but we just hired a chemical engineer last year, so nice. um, 
it, it's really the right time at the right place. But certainly uh, send us your information and, and we can take a look at it. And if you're the right candidate, we'll find a position for you. Yeah, and let's talk a bit more about this. So if people watching this are like, yeah, I totally could see myself there. Yeah. How do you recommend? What's the best way to, what would be a next step for somebody? Well, all of our openings are posted on Indeed.com. Indeed.com, um, okay. You can do a search for Interprint and chances are there's one or two or three or five um, listed there. Um, re reply online, uh, it's best way. You can also come right to our factory at 101 Central Berkshire Boulevard in Pittsfield. Where we are right now. And, and, and drop off a paper resume. We still accept those as well. Um, but certainly um, look online and, and read the description and see if it fits for something you are interested in. And if it does, then you know reply to it and we'll, we'll take it from there. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us today, Peter. Thanks for coming out, Erica. All right. And, and thanks, everybody. We'll see you uh, next time.